Hello everyone, and welcome back to Birthdays The Beginning, where we are here in our primordial sea, which is really starting to fill up with life. Look at all of our little jellyfish. Little prehistoric jellyfish are flopping around, and then we have got quite a few spots where we're trying to expand the ocean. And look at the algae that's starting to grow on things. And even up above the waterways, we actually have... Eh. Okay, there we go. <gasps> we actually have the ferns! Look at those guys! I am so excited to see some dirt and some leafy greenery down here. And actually, today I have been thinking that we might start taking things to a whole new level, my friends, and maybe trying to use the seed of mutation on one of these plants. Though we did just actually have a mutation with these guys that is over here. Look at this! Oh, I love him! It's so cool! This is a little, um, I think, oh gosh, Astroloxalon, but we're actually gonna just call it, this is like a prairie grass that has started to spread. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh! I don't think I have recognized this guy yet. What the heck? Is this actually a new plant too? Oh my goodness! I think we've just got plants like all over the place. I'm very excited about that possibility. Okay, so what is this thing? Let's see. All right, what is this? I want to I want to understand like what is this creature? So, let's see. Uh no, I don't want to use the seed of evolution on it. Can I not identify this plant because I'm really curious. <laughs> I want to know like what this plant is. Let's see. All right, that this plant doesn't have a name and it doesn't look like I can I can identify what it is. So, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there. Whoa, and now I'm down in the ocean. Sorry, the controls are so weird on this. I, I promise you guys, controls, really wonky. I think there's like an item hiding somewhere around here. No? Okay, maybe not, maybe not. But all right, so let's carry on with our current mission. What we actually need to do now is get the Astrophysis, the Astrophys, uh, which is another seafaring creature and it needs to have Pike Aya. We need to have like a lot of the Pike Aya actually. Here. Eh. All right. We need to have 276,000 Pike Aya in order to get this next creature evolved and have its birthday here. So I definitely want to work on that. But like quite seriously, I'm curious about the plants too. And I think I do want to work on the plants today. So I think we're going to actually make a bit of a river to see if we can start expanding the ground as well. All right, let's see. And then... Right, what about this? No, I don't want to use a seed of evolution just yet. That's not what I want. What if I want to shape the land? Okay, there we go. And we do have a river, so let's see. I need to figure out where my little river tile is. Oh, a small rain cloud! Mysterious cloud that slightly raises the soil moisture in an area when used, and the strong sunlight. Yeah, we talked about those last time. And then the river source. How can I use the river source? When you create rivers, it may appear in the cube. So I wonder why I can't use that item yet. I've got to figure it out. All right. Huh. Well, let's add it to our favorites just in case I can possibly use it in the future. Um, and then let's go ahead and I guess we will work on maybe lowering some of this area manually. But I did want to create a river. Here, we'll do this. Don't smush my plant. And let's see if maybe we can create a grassland. I would like to get the dirt moving and start evolving more things for land. All right, and then let's actually move this up a little bit. We'll have like a little cliff here. There we go, all right. And we'll kind of see if we can get anything maybe evolved up along here. If we do want the dirt, I do need to get the river Hmm. I do need to get the river down, but I don't know why I can't use the river right now. I'll have to figure that out. Curses! Yeah, I really wanted to use the river, but I can't. Okay, then how about we use the rain cloud then? So let's actually grab that. And let's try using the rain cloud here. Oh! Okay! I don't- it didn't actually seem to raise the moisture at all, so I think I just wasted a rain cloud. That's fine. And then... Can I use, okay, I can use the seed of evolution. If I fly up here, can I use my river? 
Oh, I can use my river if I'm up here. Oh, I guess you have to be like a certain height in order to use it. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then let's actually go ahead and I'll make another river right here. Oops. Okay, we'll get that kind of going and then maybe raise this up a little more on this side. And we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna see if we can create a little bit of a grassland. I know we need to be actually working on the primordial sea more than anything, but I can't help it. I want my leafy greens. And we'll see if we can get some leafy greens going or not. All right. And slowly but surely, I'm figuring out how to be a good world shaper. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> it really is. All right, let's see. We'll get you down and you down. All right, give me my river. Yes, okay, we can use it. Huzzah. All right, and then we'll get our little waterfall over here. As soon as I can line up just right. Boom, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, we can spread the river. Let's go up here. A little more, a little more. Okay, almost. Here, we'll get this out of the way. Got it, yes, okay. And now, hopefully, all of that greenery will start spreading its way around here. That's actually a cute little, cute little river thing we made. All right, now that that's done, we'll come over and we'll be, we'll do things right and we will come give this little creature right over here more of his space. So this guy, if we need to have lots of him, he actually needs to have sea level height, so not shallows, we need to make more seas, and the temperature needs to be between 41 and 51 Celsius, and the adaption temperature, it can go between 29 to 63. So let's go ahead and get some ocean, some nice sea put down for him. All right, that makes a sea. And we'll scale the cursor so I don't end up swishing him. All right, is this just one tile? There we go. There we go. And we'll try to keep the ocean, a nice big chasm in the ocean that hopefully his populations can spread into. We'll make those look cooler in the future. All right, and then if we're gonna spread an ocean, I think I'll go ahead and spread it this direction. There, and then we don't have to make them all the same height, but See, is that shallows? There's the sea. I want to keep the sea a little bit shallow. And then maybe we'll make, yes, a shallows there. All right, now we're out of energy. All right, friends. Let's see if my little grassland happens to expand. Time will move forward. All right, how's life doing? <gasps> the Pikea, I think it showed up for like a split second and then it went extinct. Will it come back? Please? Oh boy. Okay, good, whoa, the Pikea are here. Okay, slow it down for a second. I was really concerned about how that all is going. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what's going on now? <gasps> what is going on now? You guys, look at this. What's happening? We've got new types of plants. I wish I could identify this type of plant. This is so cool. All right, look, my greenery is spreading everywhere. I'm very proud of it. That makes me happy. I guess you just get some like, oh, look, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. We've got lots of different colors of these. Yay, I got another item, a normal recovery leaf again. And then how are these guys doing? So the Pikea population has, has managed to rebound, which is a good thing, but we need more of those little astro fissifisfisfisses. Can I find them? All right, how's this guy? The Kalunia, I kind of want to evolve the Kalunia, like use the seed of evolution on it to see what happens. But do we have enough room? Where's the other guy? Uh oh, there he is. All right, how are your guys' populations doing? Population at 35,000. So we seem to be doing okay there. How's my little, oh, look at it. Wow, look, okay, so I think some of this is actually some of this is actually like algae and some of this is kind of like a grass thing that's starting to show up. You know what? Oh, look, and here's the shallows. The shallows over here are doing pretty well. You know, I kind of want to try to use 
Oh, here's our prairie grass. The prairie grass is up to something over here too. I like it. I like it. I kind of want to, let's use the, the seed of evolution after all. And let's actually try using it on maybe one of these plants. So capture maybe a seed that promotes evolution. Let's try it. I want to try using this on our, our plant. No, come back. All right, let's try this. We're going to use the item. Did it do anything? It promotes evolution in existing organisms. We'll have to come back and we'll see if that does anything. And then, let's see. Seed of mutation. Maybe I should have used the seed of mutation. Well, we'll think about that later. All right. So I wonder if we can work on getting the populations even bigger. Do we need more C? Let's see if we need more C. And maybe we can connect these oceans up. Woo. Sorry about all of the spinning, by the way. All right. Here, we'll make some more deep sea over here. And then we'll try connecting these two areas. There's a sea there. Make this a little smaller. We can have like a little bit of a shallow spot. Connect it over here. And hopefully that'll change over time too. All right. I feel like the, the sea is huge, so we really shouldn't need more of it, personally. But you never know. And here, we'll give this area a little bit more personality. With these cool little, like, this cool little cliffside. Whoa, we actually made it colder. Alright, now I'm out of energy. Alright, back up. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens now. Did we evolve something? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Some things have evolved! Was it thanks to that, like, evolution thingy we used? Oh, there's two new things! Something evolved all the way out here? What are you, friend? Oh, hang on, and there's an item over here. Let's grab it real quick. Shiny. Normal recovery leaf. All right. Oh, we have a new friend! All right, what is it? It's a plant? <gasps> I love you! Hello, little one! Welcome to our cube! I'm so excited to have a new plant! All right, so let's capture it now. What do we get? It's its birthday! Let's see. A right... Uh, Rhinia plant native to warm temperatures. It evolved from Bartholomew and spread through various regions. So this is actually a plant with a lot of great fertility. It's got pretty great adaptation and evolution. Um, let's see. So it likes to have a little bit of moisture. I can't believe it was born all the way over here. If it needs a little bit of moisture, we need to get this place a lot more moist moist because it is not good for it over here and it also needs to have a little bit of a cooler temperature for land so you know what i think we do need more land it's a little bit hot to say the least so we're going to try to get some land over here immediately so that this thing doesn't die whoops other way around because i'm really excited about having this guy and maybe he'll spread over here and we'll also try to get moisture going so let's come up and we'll build ourselves a, whoops, a little spot for a river to come down and start making life a little bit wetter. Do, 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 do. There we go. Life a little bit more moist for plants, <laughs> which are my goal. Get the plants. I need the plants here. All right, down you go. Up you go. All right, we've got this, you guys. All right, now we just need our river source. And wow, there we go. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and have the river expand. Here, we'll go up and up. There we go. And now we've got a beautiful waterfall. Excellent, excellent. Look at that gorgeous greenery. Maybe we should name these mountains. What do you guys think? We need to come up with cool names for them. Oh no, I'm out of energy. Okay, let's use a recovery leaf. 1,000 HP, I don't even think I have 1,000 HP yet. Yay, recovery leaf. And then we can go ahead and connect these spots up. And then I think I need to actually work on maybe raising, no, 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 up, 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 up. Raising more spots. All right, let's get that recovery leaf going again. Uh, let's see. Excellent. 
All right, and hopefully we will have at least started to make a better spot for this little plant to spread. That brings such joy to my heart knowing that we have the evolutions actually working. And we're also going to come down through here and connect up to this big, big spot in the ocean. Ah, oh, we're making such pretty things! Yay! All right, let's go see who the other birthday is. Look at their land of greenery. I'm so proud. <gasps> what are you? You glorious thing. What did we get here? I love it. Is it? It's a fungal mass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a fungal mass that towers over freshwater and wetlands. It decomposes plants. So this is so important. My beloved Chips was actually telling me about a time period we had in history where before fungus really showed up, like the cellulose on certain trees was so tough that nothing would really uh nothing would really decompose it so there was a period of history where when trees died nothing happened they they just kept all of the nutrients they had had within them and you would have them just stacked on top of each other dead trapping those nutrients not recycling them back into the planet for other things to use and then fungi arrived the hero of the day showing up and starting to break down the trees before life kind of ran out of the energy and the nutrients it needed to be able to keep going on our planet freaking amazing that's why i love fungus and it actually needs to have fairly cooler temperatures and it needs a lot of moisture like a ton of moisture oh my gosh all right i need to get this place really soaked into a wetland which I would not expect to have like a wetland up here, but I'm not going to ask questions. All right, and I need to be kind of careful because we're blasting through all of our wonderful waterways. But I mean, I do not want to lose. All right, up we go. I don't want to lose our very first fungus. That's, that's very important. All right, and actually I wonder, let's go up with this to get the water in it. And then we'll do a little water over here. Maybe? Can I get the water over here? Yes, 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 yes! Oh, that's so cool! All right, and then we'll go up here. And then we'll go down. There! Really get this whole place kind of soaked and turn it into maybe a wetlands. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. This has actually worked out really well. We should use those little evolution things more often. Oh, hey, I've got a field source again. I need to remember what do those do? Centers the cursor to make an area the same height. When you raise or lower 2,000 times, it may appear on the cube. Oh, hey! When you create many rivers, it may appear on the cube. Oh, cool, so that's how you can get new items, is you can just kind of like keep going at creating things, and sometimes it'll be like, here, let me, let me offer you a new item. Got it! Nice! Look at what we've done, friends! So what are we working on again? Not plants? <laughs> that's right. Alright, that's right, that's right. We're trying to work on getting the Paikia populations up to like 270,000. <laughs> that's so much! Alright, let's zip along. Very happy about these here plants. Please don't go extinct, little ones. Alright. All right, nervous, nervous. Skya Daphodon, huh? <gasps> Look, the fungus! I saw the fungus spread a little bit. All right, how are we doing on the Pykea? Oh, hey, we're almost up to 100,000 on them. <gasps> we have a new plant! We have a new, well, I said plant. Oh, it is a plant! Oh my gosh, okay, wait, got way too excited. It's a plant, it's a, oh! It's a new plant! Yes! Okay! Oh, I'm so tickled. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm happy. This is great. Look at you! We have a palm tree! Huge trees that grow in wet earth in warm climates, differentiated from another tree. <laughs> And I've got, I've got apparently like 2,000 of them somewhere around here. Look at this! And these little guys made it! We have got more of these beautiful little lily flower things. The fungus things are starting to spread. Oh, I'm so tickled. We've got recovery leaves starting to show up. Apparently I still have no energy. But this is so awesome! I love all of our plants! 
we really need to work on having more of like a C going on for sure. But um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty freaking happy about now. Pretty darn happy. But all right, guys, so we'll go ahead and stop off here today because we have definitely managed to change the landscape quite a bit. I mean, just look at this. It's turning into a really pretty world, too. I love having the stars just sort of glow and shine behind all of the plants. I love having all the little waterways, the rivers. We've got a little wetland starting up. Wow. Oh, hey, we've got something over here to collect, too. Whoops. Just managed to, like, toss myself into into the depths of the sea but all right so if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful new plants and if you would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye